that are ready to open their business here, mm -hmm. but like they want to import some products from other country. How can they do just to do this first transaction without an import export form? Because they haven't opened their business, mm -hmm. they haven't registered their business yet. Well, they, they can do it on the individual basis. Uh, I correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. That's a question more to you. Like, what's the way? Two thousand dollars? I believe you can import anything under two thousand yeah. as the individual without any you know, uh, reporting. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So anything that's under two thousand dollars can be imported right. without any customs. Can you import it to sell it, or can you import it to yourself? That's up to you. Yeah, th these things happen. Um, yeah, these thing, the, this things happen because uh, you know it's, it's not the like it's not the math, it's not the science, uh, and it's it's a deficit of the budget, so <laughs> you have to be prepared for these things. Um, yeah, that, that's the, the, I mean, there's pretty much nothing you can do with it, so we just have to accept it as is. Uh, explore all the potential worst case scenarios with the custom broker before you do that. Uh, before you ship, before you ship your product, so that's the best advice I can give. Yeah. Uh, my personal experience is that uh, we have to pay the duty for uh, the product that costs us like a zero because we imported uh, uh, a box of Italian uh, olive oil. It was like a sample, so we didn't pay for it and we didn't intend to sell it. So it was like zero. And uh, it was at the time when there was still like some duty, like 5% duty, um, before CETA. So, and we estimated the product as zero, 
but you know, the border services came back to us and said, no, no, no. I don't care if you are you know, buying it, as, if you are uh, not selling it, we don't care. This box has the market value, and we're going to evaluate it, and you're going to pay the duty. And we don't care if you sell it or not. So we ended up paying it. It wasn't big, though, because it was just one box. It was like you know, $25 or so, but, but still, that, that's what they did. Yeah, they have the right to do this, those things. Yeah, that's something good. Yep. If you have a dispute with the customer in terms of those duties, mm -hmm. are you how is your dispute process that you can use to get those? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, it's right on the CDSA website. It's the, because it's the government uh, body, there is a structured process. I mean, uh, I believe you first submit just a complaint or so, and then you can go all the way up to the court. Yeah. Oh, CBSA, uh, just Google it, Canada Border Services Agency. Yeah, this is, um, I believe I have it somewhere here. Uh, and this is where you can also find the customs tariff and learn what the duty rate is for your product. Great. Last question? <laughs> One last question? Yes. Uh, it's about uh, finding supplier, Indian supplier. Mm -hmm. associations uh, because every single industry in Canada has the association like all the way from um, I don't know like dealers, yeah, exactly right right and all sorts of manufacturers like there is association of plastic manufacturers there's like aerospace association uh, automotive parts association and there we, there we go I mean it's, it's, it's very easy to, to, to find Oh, in most of the, in many cases, it's just online. You just look up the list of the company members, and you they don't get them. Close it out yeah. No, some of them do. Some of them. Do. It, it depends. There's no single rule, but yes, some of them. Some of them do. Some of them do. Depends. Yeah, pretty much go back to, to, to the list of uh, uh, the sources for the leads and look up the uh, either chambers or associations. We don't have some of them, they don't even have the directory in there. Even the people on the Toronto Board of Trade, they don't have the directory of the members in their website. Yeah, the, uh, I agree. Yeah, Canadian manufacturers and exporters, same thing, they don't. Uh, they don't have it. If, 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 I used to be a member and they, then I used to be a member and they didn't give it to me. <laughs> I, and then they, they have different tiers and then mm -hmm. you have to you know depend on the level of the membership. Depends, so depends, that, yeah. Then they don't disclose it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. things like this happen. Yeah, I don't know. There's no single rule. And that's the you know, but that's the that's a part of entrepreneurship. You know, discover something and you know uh, don't be afraid to you know, make mistakes and uh, just don't put everything uh, in one basket, if you will. Don't bet everything on your next transaction. Uh, start slowly. That's probably the, the resume that I can give you. Um, and yeah, don't, don't be afraid to use help. Uh, custom brokers, freight forwarders, uh, financial institutions, you know, don't try to... Uh, like if, let's, if you don't have money for the particular transaction, then uh, explore this. I try to speak to you know, a couple of banks and uh, BTC, like bank for dedicated to small businesses. They may be like more friendly. Uh, if you are under 39 years old, there is also an organization called Future Preneur. Um, it's it's the financial institution, uh, but they are like more friendly to the young. 
And I, I, I heard, I, I know that from a couple of uh, their former clients, so they were like pretty happy how it works. Yes, uh, there is. Uh, so there are two uh, major government grants, uh, but you have to be careful because one of them is only available for uh, manufacturers and technology companies. So once again, those um, uh, priority industries, because uh, there is a provincial grant uh, and the federal grant. So provincial grant only works for those priority industries. Uh, and it covers uh, the things like trade show costs, um, and the uh, tickets for to employees and some accommodation, also like related marketing costs uh, such as um, translation, you know, design of materials, design of your collateral, shipping samples. Uh, now the federal one is a little bit more uh, flexible. Um, uh, you can just be you know one or two people company and apply for it. Uh, the problem is though that. The minimum sales that the federal grant requires has to be two hundred thousand. If I'm not mistaken, so it can be one people come, one person company, but you have to generate at least two hundred thousand. And another uh, uh, nuance for the federal grant uh, is that you are supposed to enter the new export market. So, for example, if you are say company company that used to sell to the United States, and you want to go to the trade show in the United States you cannot get the grant. But if you now target the United Kingdom and you haven't sold anything to the United Kingdom, you can. So the first uh, program called Export Market Access, it's easy to find it on Google, uh, Export Market Access, and the federal one is called Can Export. Like Canada Export, but it's called Can Export. Okay? Okay, and uh, we, I guess, have to, yeah, I think it we, have to, we have to wrap up. Um, I will be available for the you know, next maybe 20, 30 minutes because I have a lot of stuff to pack. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, by all means, please let me know. Uh, you also have any you know, questions, uh, you can grab my card and uh, you know, we can always have like, a chat. Uh, we'll try to <coughs> answer some questions that I couldn't answer. Uh, and just one last thing uh, there are evaluation forms. Uh, they can be anonymous. You don't have to put your name, but uh, if you can maybe spend two, two, three minutes providing your feedback, that'd be great because we we'll always look for the opportunity to improve the portion. So I think you have to say something. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll discuss your questions later. Do you just discuss that? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, sure. first of all, I think yeah. everybody wants yeah. to know what kind of services you can provide in your program. Yeah, basically, uh, the, we mostly offer uh, like export uh, coaching and training. Um, we do this workshop like group workshops. Uh, we can also sit down one on one and you know figure out your situation. Uh, let's say you uh, want to want help with calculation of the price or interpretation of the price, or you know, want uh, to get some you know, contacts with freight forwarders. Uh, we do have a structured coaching program uh, where that usually has between six and seven modules where we you know, sit one on one together and go through all the steps. Uh, product selection, you know, country selection, uh, pricing the product, uh, you know, finding the right contacts, you know, your export sales and marketing and so forth. So that's basically the you know, primary uh, uh, service of function, uh, so, uh, our primary service. Uh, in terms of free stuff, we also have, well, we have the YouTube channel with the recording of most of like my workshops from the uh, from the past um, has uh, about, about four or so videos that you can access at any time you know, uh, and learn some more. You know, because we unfortunately, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the the original workshop duration is like two days, so I had to uh, uh, take the most uh, take the most of those to this content and put it in three to four hours of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's definitely more uh, more things to, to consider. Yes. Where do I find those content? 
Oh, you just uh, when you go, you uh, go to YouTube and Google will go go partners okay. our company name and you will find the videos. Yes. Do you have anything like a like a post or something where you can continue like each other after? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do have. We also have a Facebook page. Uh, it wasn't that popular. <laughs> it's not that popular though. Uh, but for sure, yeah. I don't have, uh, sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're representing like all, all social networks. I think maybe I can send them uh, an agreement through your email and whatever was interested to share the uh, information, they, they just signed it and then I would just share. Or maybe maybe make a Facebook group or something like that. But yeah, definitely I will send an agreement that's so that's everyone is agree with that and then like just to cover the confidentiality. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I usually, with uh, Facebook, I usually can answer all the questions on Facebook. <laughs> or yeah, that's whatever. a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Well, uh, thank you so much. I really don't want to finish this, but they will come and they will close. And they also have the people who work here also have to work home. Thank you. Thank you so much because I know, as the name it says, it's a very intensive intensive boot camp and it's a lot of information we want to share more and more. I definitely recommend Igor. I came to, to Canada maybe almost three years ago and I was representing a Chinese company here in Canada. So he's the, the person who helped me through the whole process because I wasn't like aware about anything in, in Canada. So fortunately I got step by step everything was clear from the beginning of the idea of bringing things the logistic until i got it in my house the, there were a cardboard display uh, boxes so 100 percent recommendable 100 percent. and thank you so much again as as he said it's very important the feedback for all of you the things that we do good the things that maybe not that good but we can do better i will appreciate if you can leave this in the desk with uh, in the front desk over there and i hope you have a great night and you took the best of this this presentation thank you for everything thank you Nicole. if you can put your your garbage in the in the recyclable cans please thank you